Even though this channel is not dedicated to gear per se, occasionally I like to talk about pieces of gear that could make our lives easier as solo acoustic musicians. And a little while back, a company called X5 sent me the U2 wireless guitar transmitter, which is just a wireless guitar system that I reviewed, took it to my gig and wound up loving it. Um, there are links to where you can look at it in the description here and links to the video where I reviewed it also in the description. And since I like the wireless guitar unit so much, I decided to check out what's called the U3 wireless mic setup. I'm thinking I can go out to my gigs with no wires. It's gonna be great. Um, so I had X5 sent me, send me one, here it is, pretty cool. And it's basically just a small transmitter that you plug into the back of your mic and a small receiver that you plug into your amp or board and it allows your microphone to be wireless as well. This could come in really handy, first of all, for not having wires laying all over the place, which looks sloppy. But also, if you play a lot of events for people, sometimes people want to take the mic and make a speech and now you've got to either put them where you are or you've got to unhook the mic and unwire it and they walk away too far and they pull the mic. Now you can just take it, hand them the microphone, and they're wireless, they're good to go. So like I said, we got this today, and I'm going to open it up. We're going to do a little unboxing for starters, and we'll talk about it a little bit more, and ultimately take it out to a gig and test it out. Time for the unboxing. Open this up. This pot always makes me nervous. Oh, on my shaky table. I don't want to end with a trip to the emergency room, getting stitches. Okay. I'm a wild man. All right. Well, here it is. Let's illuminate the subject a little bit better. Oh, we can't. So let's show it to the cam. Now, you notice this is the dynamic version. You notice it says dynamic here, okay? It's important to note that there's the dynamic version, which is for dynamic microphones like the SM57, the SM58, more than likely the mic you're taking to your live gig. And then there's the condenser microphone version, which are more of the high-end studio microphone phones, the ones that use phantom power, most of the time for what we do as solo acoustic or solo musicians going out, it's more than likely you're going to need the dynamic version. If you're using an SM58, then the dynamic version is what you're going to use. I'm going to put this box on my head and try to wear it as a hat. No, I'm just kidding. Ow! Just throw it in the bedroom. Wife could pick it up later when she comes home. Just kidding! You guys take me seriously. Just like the wireless system that I got, this thing is really, comes in a nice box. I really like the packaging that they use. It's not, doesn't feel cheap and I like it. I like it a lot. All right, basic slide out box. Slide them out. Microphone wireless system. There you have it. Okay, let's open it up. And as you can see, we just have two nice little, we have the receiver and the transmitter. The transmitter is the part that goes on the microphone, transmits the sound. The receiver obviously receives the sound. And this box is really pretty straightforward. We just have these two devices. They're kind of heavy. They, got a, they have a nice weight to them. They really do. Feels like quality. And like I said, I'm loving the wireless guitar system. It's coming with me to every gig since I got it. Again, link in the description. It's not a hard sell, but just check it out. Nobody's telling you to buy it, but it's a really good unit. I had no, zero trouble with it. It's worked flawlessly. So let's just open these up. This is the receiver. And the transmitter. So the transmitter again is the one that will go to the amp side of things and the receiver will go to your instrument or in this case your microphone. 
on the receiver end you've just got a power button and on the transmitter end which is cool you can pick between mic and line because this could also work as a to run a speaker you know you could anything that plugs into XLR you could use so if it's a line level device maybe an instrument or a, or a speaker or an output from some other device in my case I'm using it to make my mic wireless okay I'm going to open up the rest of the box here and see what, what comes in it okay cable I'm assuming for charging and just like the U2 wireless system that they sent me I love this that the cable is I call it a Y cable I don't know if that's what it is come on open up it's again this little mini USB not my favorite but it works and you can charge them both together because this end has two so you don't have to have a million different cables all over and this end is just your standard USB it goes to your standard Apple adapter whatnot instruction manual in the box Ooh, this one comes with a pouch I like it my complaint with the guitar unit was it didn't come with any kind of carrying pouch I had to put it in like a microphone pouch and throw it in my gig bag all these devices X5 if you're listening they need to come with a carrying case if you're playing if you're making them for gigging musicians gigging musicians are on the go and some other little you know product manual I don't know where this is a scarf this I'm gonna tape to my forehead no. uh, and then the silica gel don't eat this a little shot of everything that comes in the box all right I'm gonna charge these bad boys up and we'll check back in so I went and plugged in the devices and they were pretty much charged from the factory because as you can see on the transmitter you have these two red lights that indicate that it's charging and on the receiver side you have the one red light that indicates that it's charging and within minutes both of those lights had gone out so they were pretty much charged from the factory and as for charging times and how much power you'll get if you can see that but basically, 15 minutes of charging time gets you 30 minutes of use. And as you double it, it goes up. So 30 minutes of charging time gets you one hour of use. One hour of charging time gets you two hours of use. Two and a half hours gets you five hours of use. And I can tell you that, again, going back to the other wireless units that I use, they charge up pretty fast. And I haven't had one go out on me on a three hour gig. So they deliver what they promise. Okay. All right, so real simple. I mean, it's fairly straightforward. You've got a power button on on each unit, the receiver and the transmitter. Okay, turn them both on. And you'll notice that on the receiver, that light is lit up green. That means that these two devices are on the same frequency and they are communicating with each other. Now you have this little kind of wheel looking thing with a button on the front. I don't even know if you could see it is telling you what channel you're on so right now they're both on channel one so they are talking to each other the light is green on the receiver tells you that they're talking to each other now if for some reason you're getting some sort of interference on that channel you've got six channels you could choose from and you just use this button and you could scroll through different channels I have to double click it. I don't know. Sometimes you have to. So now this one's on channel two, right? I moved the receiver to channel two. Notice that the light went off. If I click the other device onto channel two, did I do that right? Uh, I got to double click it. There we go. As you double click it, it scrolls through different channels. Now they're both on channel two, and the light turns green. So basically, you just use the buttons here to wheel around through the different channels and you get them both on the same channel and they will talk to each other so you have to like double click it and then it'll like light it'll blink and then you click it once and it'll scroll around through the different channels 
And I'm doing it now, I'm putting them both back to channel one. Because channel one's the best. I have no idea. Okay, both of them back on channel one. And it's really all she wrote. I'm gonna be keeping mine on mic, because I'm using it on a microphone. And oh, I'm gonna run around singing like a fool. My mic sits on a stand the whole time, so it's gonna be kind of whatever but there won't be wires hanging everywhere. So this combined with my wireless guitar setup, it's gonna be nice and clean. More wires means more potential for stuff to get knocked over, pulled over, and it just looks sloppy. Okay, so I am going to power these both off, throw them in the pouch. I might even be able to fit, not throw them in the pouch. I'm not gonna fit the other ones in here. Boom. Head out to a gig, and we're going to test them out in the real world, and I'll get back to you and let you know how they work. We're going to check out this X Vive wireless mic unit in the real world, in its native environment. And away we go. Try not to get killed. This is New York. So between the guitar and the mic, we're all set up. That green light means we are wireless. This is actually coming through the house. One, two, and I am free and clear. I could walk around and do whatever it is I want. Always a nice time. I think it's safe to say the uh, the X5 wireless really did the job. I played three hours. I didn't even take a set break, so we literally did three hours with this. So, so we can get in the shot with me. I don't know if we can. And I'm very pleased with this. I will be using it again. There's no wires. The setup is so nice and clean. Those wires aren't mine. So, X5. Loving it, loving it. Loving the wires. So there you have it. All in all, there's really nothing negative I have to say about it. Uh, I plugged them in and I, <laughs> I sang wirelessly all night. Excellent, excellent device. And... Now I'm combined with my guitar units here. I am completely wireless. I'm gonna be going out with, with all of this stuff. Thank you to x for giving us a great product. There's links um, in the description if you wanna check it out. I'm not, you know, x didn't hire me to say anything about this. Uh, this is just my experience. Very, very good products. I think it'll make your live setup a lot more convenient. And that's all I have to say about it. I'm Frank Persico. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.